Ni hao. Okay, so we're going to、um, look at using the pet emote editor to make some custom pet emotes for your pet. And you'll have to excuse the constant sniffing you're going to hear throughout this video because I totally have a really awful cold. All right, so what you need to do is you go to your World of Warcraft folder, and in there there should be your interface folder. Open that up, open up Add ons, and then dig around until you find your pet emote folder. And there she is. Okay. In the pet emote folder is this brilliant pet emote editor, and it's what I have used to make the custom emotes that my little wolf does in World of Warcraft. So open that up, do do do, and you'll see here is a setup already that I prepared before the show, like a cake for the roo, for roo the wolf, for the roo. Okay, and、um, you will notice there is quite a lot in here because I really enjoy. Making custom emotes, okay, and you do get the option to have levels of emotes. So you have the first line, and then randomly it will select these other lines, which can make it really interesting and novel. And you can have a number of levels. Although I usually tend to stick to two, you'll see here, it's not very usual for me to go to a three-level emote. Although that one's quite interesting. Okay, and on your emotes, there can be things like if you have a look at growls at percentage T or growls at target here, you can put conditions such as the target is unfriendly. So if I had an unfriendly things like selected, then my wolf would growl at it. Isn't that nifty? That's nifty. Okay, and you can also have you can have this target is friendly. So I have quite a lot down here because for a while there, here we go, fidgets. For a while there, I was standing around in Delaran doing nothing but guild chat. So I, I liked my wolf to fidget as I sat around, blah 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 blaring in the game, especially on a role playing server. I thought that was funny. It probably annoyed the heck out of some people, but hey, I thought it was funny. That's the main thing. You also have the option to have combat emotes. Now you won't have noticed them if you're walking around in the game for your pet with just the standard pet emotes because there are no custom. Standard combat emotes. You have to make them all yourself. So here's my combat emotes. I had a lot of fun with these. For example, tanks with his face, big bear butt. Anybody? Or <laughs> teeth of mass destruction. Yeah, okay. I get a bit silly on the combat emotes. I did roll on a PVP server for a while. Jokes are a must. Okay, so combat emotes will happen when you are in battle, and、um, you can still add a condition such as. Wow,、well, where's one where I did it? Plans to live forever. Target is unfriendly. Sometimes you fight neutral mobs and、um, they don't become unfriendly. Sometimes you don't have a target, but you're in combat if you're in a group. So the conditions can still make things interesting. Do do do. This whole searches for a throat thing was because I was killing a lot of slimes and a lot of those flower monsters. And and really, where is the throat on those things? Anyway, feeding emotes. Uh, I'm actually not really sure what sets these off because I haven't managed to get them to happen successfully in the game. I'm still experimenting. I should go read the notes over on Ammunitions more carefully.、Um, but、um, to be honest, my pet is actually stuffed so full of food that、um, fatty moats wouldn't go off very regularly anyway because I sh I shove something down his head every hour, so he never gets hungry. And and the sh the、um, The period your pet actually eats is quite short. I suppose if I upped the chance to two hundred, there would be more likelihood that these would go off because that is more chance the randomness is increased. We'll see. I'll, I'll play in the game and find out more and give you some feedback. Okay, so this is Rue. He's pre-made. How do you do it yourself? Well, what you want to do is you want to add a new configuration, and there's a button for that. Add configuration, and you pop in your pet's name. So let's just say my hunter had tamed a new bear, and we shall call him Frank, and Frank shall be our tank. Yeah, Frank the tank. Okay, so you get a little beep because you forgot to select. Okay, I forgot to select the pet family, and you can do that in the beginning up here, or you can just right click and pick the correct pet family. So there we go. Frank is a bear. Frank gets a little bear icon. And he is a hunter pet. 
there's nothing in his tabs here at the moment so what we need to do for Frank is import all those emotes that you will have been aware of already happening in the game if you use the pet emote add-on so all the standard ones that come with the package okay so there's the bear ones if you were completely nutty I suppose you could import the spore bat ones and edit those but but we're going to take the ones we're familiar with the bear ones okay and you can see here are those random emotes and if you had a bear you would have already seen these happening with pet mode on in the game okay with conditions such as if you are a he or a she if your wolf is a he or, or your bear is a he or a she there are no combat emotes and no feeding emotes because the standard ones as I said before don't come with that okay and in here let's just say there was only one or two words that you wanted to enter enter I should say edit you can just change them you can delete whole strings you can add new ones and then levels to those new ones you can add a condition does the target exist is it friendly is it unfriendly is your pet a male or a female has it accepted food or refused it what part of the emote it is and you can enforce continuation on if you have levels option C growls enforce continuation so he won't just growl it has to go to the next step or you could just say no that's alright he could just growl and then randomly maybe something else will happen to make it more exciting so you can set all that up and just think of it as a giant flow chart of awesome pet emoteness I really love this add-on it's great okay so there's Frank our tank and Rue our wolf and um, we'll stop the video now because that's the basics of getting started don't forget to save if you don't save your configurations then um, it won't happen and if you don't save after your edits it all disappears pretty much just like losing an assignment it would suck okay well thank you and we might try to do some frapsing or something of what it looks like in game cheerio